Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the F1 2021 Driver Grimo with Ferrari episode number 77 today for the United States Grand Prix of season 5 round number whatever it is. If you missed the previous episode at Singapore uploaded last Friday go and check that out. Of course subscribe to the channel see plenty more F1 2021 and F1 22 Driver Grimo videos as and when they come out as we've got our wet race around the United Good States. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. It's been quite an eventful championship, hasn't it? It definitely has. Um, Are you happy with your performance today? In practice. Great. Well, that's everything. It's a nice early appearance there from Claire as you move to qualify on a dry qualifying. Have put a wet setup on or increase the wings rather by one click um, from one normal dry setup for the United States as well um, now coming into turn one is Lando Norris we tried to go around the outside of him and we get forced wide by him I mean first of all he's he's he's, he's on an outlap he's coming out the pits he should be able to he should have his engineer tower him and give way and you know he's you know he should give way to me there um, not enter the corner because he's on his outlap this is something that the AI can do as I'm going to demonstrate um, with what happened the following lap with Carlos Sainz who's coming out of the pits he yields the position he doesn't enter turn one and subsequently my lap isn't ruined you see how much I've gained on the following lap um, as well so, yes, a little bit of frustration with our former teammate from the first half of Season 3. But, anyway, enough about Morris. He's up in P2 currently. We are going to try and set off our slope. We've got another one of our former teammates in the form of Sebastian Vettel uh, from Season 2 up in front of us. As Verstappen goes fastest of all. Can anyone stop Max Verstappen in this career mode? We'll have to wait and see. Um, as we've nice flow. This is actually an actual fact. You know, uh, uh, Sector 1, I'm not going to lie, in maxed out cars, that's how Sector 1 should feel. Because, you know, um, obviously on the base game and the early seasons of career mode, the the, the, the track feels horrible through Sector 1. And, you know, you, it doesn't feel that great. Uh, Vettel pulls over, we're going to get a little bit of a slipstream and we're going to um, get the slingshot past uh, our former teammate. Um, and uh, three and a, almost four tenths up there um, as well two and a half tenths up on um, excuse me Hamilton's time through sector two um, but we should be faster than our former teammate from season three um, as well um, in the form of Hamilton you know I mean because he hasn't looked himself since season two really um, since he uh, lost that chance to be a nine time world champion to Valtteri Bottas um, as well. Half a second improvement. That's more like it. And I think that was P2. It is P2. Sight's only P5. You know, we're ahead of Stroll only just again as well. So that really shows how good that Red Bull is. Norris P4, but Hamilton only 7th um, as well. So top four, very close. Gasly continue his momentum. Uh, Ricardo, no. Um, behind Sonoda again. So, you know. Um, Yes, we'll see what we can do though from the front row of the grid time for the race. Welcome once again then to the United States Grand Prix here in the magnificent city of Austin. It was here in 2018 that Kimi Raikkonen delighted the world by winning for the first time in 114 races. There's always a record to be broken, so what I wonder is in store for us today. We have 10 turns to the left and 10 to the right here at the fantastic Circuit of the Americas, overtaking opportunities into turns 1 and 12 at this anti-clockwise 3.6 mile track. But we may well see cars struggle to slow down there today as the wet weather does interfere with the low speed grip. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today and how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. 
the cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and a Ferrari alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Stroll, Gasly, Carlos Sainz and Hamilton, Sonoda, Ricardo, Perez and Esteban Ocon, Russell, Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel and Norris. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Ireland, Lundgaard, Nicholas Latifi and Guan Yu Zhou, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Guess what the strategy is, everyone? Oh, that's right. It's a wet race, a 25% race. It's a no-stop strategy um, as well. And this is why we need 35% races in career mode. But anyway, five lights in. Um, and away we go. And it's an okay start compared to Verstappen. Verstappen will cut across the inside. And then we, of course, are going to eat. Goes to the races and opens the door. Thank you very much. We're going to go out the inside and take the lead away from Verstappen and take the lead and Gasly's going to get in front as well which is crucial for Gasly's championship hopes if he wants to get outscore Verstappen of course Sainz also needs to have a good start but he's behind Hamilton there as you can see um yeah a little bit of contact uh, between myself and Verstappen nothing menacing there but that does allow Gasly to get past us Ricardo has fallen behind Perez so Perez is starting to look like the Perez that was at the Monaco Grand Prix untouchable and uh, not the Perez that was uh in um, their sights looking his more realistic self and not the uh, one who's in the championship. We're going to try and help Sainz out here on lap 6 because Gasly does not have the pace in the McLaren to match us. You know, if we back them up, there is a chance Sainz could slip down the inside of them. Um, but yeah, I gave him a, I gave him 6 lap 6 and 7 and in the end it just doesn't work and Gasly himself is just backing everyone up as well because Verstappen is unable to get past. I'm just showing how poor these cars are overtaking A on this tyre and B without DRS um, as well so um, hopefully that will be something a little bit different even Morris is struggling way outside the points with that engine penalty down in P14 um, which isn't great for the four year old who has been looking on the up recently he won't be like time for Mo for my fastest lap of the race are too hot you need to cool them down find some standing water Jeff no Jeff our tires are fine so that's the fastest lap 145.999 on the final lap when trying to push even faster we got a three second penalty but that's really not going to affect our race anyway 
Oh no! Anyway, last. And as we round the final corner there, just uh, celebrating a little too early, but nevertheless, it is our second Grand Prix win, 10th overall, we've run out of fuel as well, um, and across the line for victory. Superb driving, that's the race win. Our unusual enthusiasm from Jeff there, hopefully Mark, will be a little bit more enthusiastic if we manage to win races on F122. They take the chequered flag here in Austin after what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack. And having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Oh yes, it's definitely nice to be have some consistent winning now. Uh, and that's definitely one of the better trophies I've seen that they've made up in this game. I wouldn't mind having that trophy. That's, that's definitely a nice trophy. Maybe not with the F1 brand, double F1 branding, but still. Um, nevertheless, um, that three second penalty didn't do it. As Gasly just ha didn't have the pace in the wet, clearly. And, you know, just held absolutely everyone up. Like Verstappen, Stroll, Hamilton. Sainz unable to... Um, get past Hamilton that really must be his championship over um, at this point in time um, we'll have a look in there uh, at the uh, standings where you know he's 31 points behind we're 49 points behind but you know I mean we've got you know with three races remaining with not unless they're not our chances of winning and the one of the others not is not likely so we're still going to support sites um, as well if we can if i feel that it's going his way find out of that on thursday uh, for a spoiler there great work out there today let's have your thoughts who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment no comment we don't want to give any rival you performed advantage. better than last weekend what changed ah uh, well qualifying was better and um, to be honest we all underestimated you didn't we well, you definitely did, Claire. Did you feel that things went well for you today? We won the Grand Prix. If you didn't see that, we won the Grand Great. Prix. Well, that's everything. Would it be nice to get Sainz, you know, up there, a better position, but, you know, P6 for him, he loses points to Sainz as well. Um, but for us, I don't know, our targets to just try and see how, win as many races as we can. Um, and close this championship and this career mode in style um, as well. So Mexico should be coming out the Thursday on Friday, depending on uh, game news videos as well. So if you have, if you are new around here, then please do get subscribed for weekly Formula One content. And I'd like to say, if you made it this far, thank you for watching and not and choosing to watch this video over F122 gameplay as well. So until the next video, then. I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day and goodbye.